Chef Carla Pelota shows you can come a long way while still staying close to home. She was born and raised in Boston's North End, the city's Little Italy. There she grew up enjoying her mother and grandmother's simple recipes from the old country's Puglia region. And those same dishes would find their way onto the menu at Nibo Cucina and Enoteca, the restaurants she opened with her sister and business partner Christine back in 2005, located just a few blocks from where the two grew up. It's meant to capture the simple pleasures of dining in an Italian home. And welcome to our home, Chef Carla Parlata. Welcome, Thank you for Chef. Having me. I am. Thank this you. I I this is just such an incredible table. abundanza. What do we have here, chef? We have a avicini. Mm. Avicini are made with wild mushrooms. Um, this and, is like a risotto ball. Yeah, kind of, exactly. Right? And then we have a uh, creamy polenta also with wild mushrooms and uh, shaved parmesan, but normally we do a fried egg over it. Mm. It's really nice, the egg yolk breaks. And we have uh, a salumi board with prosciutto, cabagola, speck, um, some food piccolino groups. cheese and provolone. Yes. And it, along with that, we serve it with a homemade tomato jam, oh. a homemade fig jam, and a three pepper peperonata. Nice. And then for our main course, we have a chipino with lobster, shrimp, calamari, and mussels, all served in a spicy tomato sauce with our homemade potato bread and then we finish the meal off with my mother's homemade magatha pie. Uh. All right and let's discuss the beverage while we can. <laughs> so this is a bourbon. It has what's, it's, what's its official name? This is called a cherry blossom. A cherry mm. blossom. So it has bourbon, cherries in it, some cherry simple syrup, and it has some Coca-Cola in it. All the magic ingredients. Yes, excellent. So, Chef, you have an unlikely story. I know that you graduated, you had a cosmetology degree. Is that, I did. Is that right? So how did, I started how did at you, 17 yeah. um, with a hair salon. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I started working someplace, and then I opened my own salon at 21 years old, and wow. nine months later, I opened a tannin salon. Wow. And then... Um, Fifteen years later, my sister Christine joined me. Okay. And uh, so I was 45 years old. My sister was 42 when she came to me and decided that she wanted a change in career. Okay. And said she wanted to open a restaurant. We and, had and never worked in a restaurant. You'd never worked in a restaurant? No. You'd never really been a cook? No, no. <laughs> Everything we saw, we saw from my mother. And right. when we decided to open the restaurant, we had to tell my mother to create the recipes in front of us and then go backwards and measure things backwards because my staff had to have standards to go by. Yeah, right. of course. So that's how we ended up learning ourselves. Did you at all kind of question whether this was a good idea? Idea, given that you had no recipes that never cooked before. It's really funny because when Christine said it to me, I thought she was crazy. Yeah. And uh, right. I, she said, you have three months to decide. And I said, okay, I'm coming. It was that quick. <laughs> and we actually sent all our uh, clients thank you notes for their business and said, okay, let's do this new venture. And when I told my father, his answer, his answer to me was, look at business is business, numbers and numbers. Mm -hmm. Service to service hospitality. It's just wow. a different product. So wow. It, he just went for it. It's and not we a tan, it's a calamari. Five weeks we had a business plan, and three months we had a restaurant. Wow. Congratulations wow. to you. you. So you, you, but you'd watched your mother cooking all as you grew up. I did. She didn't want anybody in her kitchen. She's very right. proud of her food. She's 83, and she still doesn't want anybody in her kitchen. Does she get a consultant's but, fee? Oh she comes <laughs> in, and she tells them, if you're not going to do it right, don't bother doing it at all. Uh -huh. and they, don't, they love her. They all call her mama in my restaurant. Yeah. Um, but just watching through the years, I didn't realize how much I learned. It just came naturally, mm -hmm. and it's all... Everything's called artisan this day and age, but it's all stuff from the Puglia region that my mother did in homemade bread, homemade right. pasta. We just lived like that. Chef, um, as I pass you this dish to sign, I will ask you the question we ask all chefs on this program, which is, if you could share this meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? I would have to say my father. Um, we had company every single night in the house. I, I always say that my father worked the, jer the third job just so that he could serve people dinners. Yeah. And most of all, I think my father was the best listener. Mm. And I couldn't wait at the end of the day to tell him what my day was about. So I think that for my sister and I, that would be the one person we would love to be able to do that with again. I love that story. Yeah. Business is business, service is service. And yeah. man, have you made a go of it. Chef Carla Thank Pelota. You. Thank you. Congrats. And for more on Carla Pelota and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.